Hi everyone, welcome to this presentation for importing a DWG file into the technical model as a reference model. Um, so we're going to go over the process of how to actually bring in those files and then we'll also cover the topic of base points. Uh, base points is going to be important for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that we'll be able to re reposition our DWG once we bring it in based on those, those base points. Um, so the DWG file might have been drawn in as very large coordinates, so it was accurate by its northing and easting position, um, such as this one was, was drawn in with the local coordinates in Georgia with this easting and northing value. So if we actually positioned it at that location, um, our distances and our x and y values are going to be very large, so we want to minimize those. So that's why I repositioned it to the 0, 0 coordinate. And then another plus of using base points is that even though we model it at 0, 0, we can relate a latitude and longitude to this location here. So when we export it out as an IFC, its real world positions will be accurate. So what I've done is I brought in uh, two DWGs. One is elevation over on the left side, and you can see my plan here. And the reason I added those in so that once I start modeling my concrete geometry, let's go ahead and add a pad footing in. And I'll just change its parameters really quickly. Change this to be negative two feet. Let's make it 48 inches by 48 inches. I'll apply that. I'm just gonna click right there. Now I can see how it's lining up with my elevation view um, and my plan view. So, you know, if I need to correct it, I can come in here and just grab on that face and then snap to my elevation. Now it's lining up. Let's hop over to my plan view. And I can see that checks out. So let's go ahead and take a few steps back and let's go through the process of bringing that DWG file in as a reference model. Okay, to add a reference model in, we, all we have to do is open up the reference models pane over on the right side. And this will be the same process when you go to import IFCs, DGNs, um, 3DDs, SketchUp models, and so on. Um, so first thing we can do is browse for our file. And here's all of our compatible file types through um, this reference model import. So I'll just click on my DWG and press open. And then I can classify it into a group, and I can do that here. Or you can do it over here by clicking on new group and I'm just going to do it while I'm adding this in. And then I'll locate it by, by the model origin. Um, what I would actually need to do um, to place it at zero, 0 is to use my base point I've specified but I'll cover that later in this video. So let's go to model origin first and then I'll leave offset, scale, and rotation all to its default values. So then I'll click on add model and that places it in the model space. Um, so if you can see my work area line there, you can see that nothing's visible. Um, and it's because it's zoomed out to fit everything in this view. So if I actually zoom down in this bottom left corner, there's my grid. And then if I zoomed out and went to the top right corner, here's where I would find my reference model. Um, and you can see that this is you know not, not what we want. You can see you know how those large... Um, X, Y, and Z values would be bother someone we would model um, and get information out of them. So I can reposition that um, by going into the properties of my reference model. You can see it's appeared over here. So then I'll double click on that. And now I can choose its location um, post importing it. So I can now click on base point. Then I'll set its rotation to be, let's change that to be zero. And then let's modify it. Okay, now I'm just going to fit my work area to my entire model. And you can see it's positioned it correctly based on my base points. Um, and b before I get to how, how I uh, assign that base point, let's just cover um, briefly what's um, some of the details inside of this DWG reference model. Um, so like I pointed out, it'll appear under that new group. So if I double click on it, I'll see all my properties associated with it, um, just like how um, you can view them with the PDF you imported. Um, the unique thing about the DWG file is that I can see all the layers associated with it. So I can click on this little eye icon there and it'll turn everything off. Now I can just isolate my columns, my footings, my grid lines, and this is going to be really useful when you go to draw out like slabs. So you can just isolate that and then draw your limits and then turn everything back on um, and, and 
model in that order. So we'll go ahead and turn everything back on and now let's go ahead and take a look at the base points and how we can create those. Okay, to get to the base points all we have to do is go through the file menu here and we will go to project properties and there's a section here called base points. So if I click on this you can go ahead and assign it a name and click on the plus icon or you can throw it away if, if you need to delete the delete that base point. Um, what I've done for mine is I've gave them it a description so I just identified it as building location and then I gave a unique coordinate system identifier that's associated with my easting and my northern coordinates. So these are local coordinates here for our office in Kennesaw, Georgia. That's why I've selected these. Um, so you'll type this in. So these, these two values, that's what's going to reposition this model once you use that base point. It's not going to take into account the latitude and longitude. Um, what these are for are used for is, is when you go to export out an IFC. And I'll go through that in, in just a second after I finish up with this base point dialog. And then you can, you know, assign this coordinate to some location in the model. And what I've done is I've assigned it to be 0, 0, 0. And then I angled it 30 degrees so it rotated. So everything was nice and orthogonal in my model. So briefly, let's open up the um, IFC export dialog box. And you can see here, we have an option to locate by just as we did with our import. And here's where I would select my base point project base. So now when I would export that out, um, you know, this footing here wouldn't be zero, zero. It would take on that latitude and longitude that I defined at that zero, zero model position. Thank you.